Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribbled from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Dynamite fishing? You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. Remember when we escaped the pits back when? Still some dynamite. Here it is, uh, just get... Even more roasted fish! Oh, what the chimichurri was that boom? You couldn't hit a cow's ass with a sitar. <laughs> All the blistered fish they could ever want. All the blistered fish they could ever want. Ah, that burnt reek. Ugh. Hand over whatever it is and I'll help you get rid of it. Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon, and nobody wants you to miss it. So, this is it. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talked much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you, and I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. I have never asked anything of you, Firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father is accused of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand by? Am knowing gentle father is indungeoned. It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. Is it really you, dearest sibling? I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. Those houses. You never said how wealthy you were. <laughs> Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Where have you been? Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. No matter so few are here, when they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. We shall, dear sibling, for now. 
I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds, and passage for all still loyal to Father. Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. This is it. Ditchwater. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. What? Still here? Establishing a rival company on that disheveled island? Let Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you're at all like father, you'll look beyond appearances. We must shelter the good, loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. We need every hand we can get if we are to expunge this debris. Do you remain here out of spite? Or is this some futile attempt at competition? As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Miserly, uncharitable, dastard, picking and choosing what he inherits. You reached a new milestone. Under Edvard Prince in Bright Sands. Samuel's child, is it? Thank heavens. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had me print. He twists every article in his favor at our and father's expense. as its thorns. Father wouldn't have wanted us to sit on our hands while our one prospect was in such a state. So let's gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. Morning is eased, now we have others for company, sibling. It's been a hard day of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people.
find him. We put our love into this. We are running low on timber, but there's plenty in the ruins. We should clear some to stock up. You reached a new milestone. Help enough to demolish the larger ruins. Let's breathe some life into this place. to rest and maybe wet their whistles. When I look into your people's faces, I see trouble. Make sure their misery doesn't become a problem. Roll up 
toilet. <laughs> Fields. We need more farm hands. Peddlers say there's nowhere to take it.
workforce shortage. Timber, very good. I'll try not to think of the coffin. Feels an eternity since the funeral. And the cast! Oh, why, it was extortionate! Repay me now, or sell up. I feel sick to the stomach that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after Father's death. Your people are recovered and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. Once again, I am indebted to you. Ready to repay my charity? Don't think you're finished, brat. I loathe the reek of lanolin, but if farmer's smocks are all you have... It seems we are not alone in our contempt for Edvard. Is there no limit to Uncle's shameless demands?
tell me you've managed something. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four bags full. If your father had only let me in, we could have built this together. We'd rather die than stay. Our flag still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more. Workforce shortage. Checked the manifests. Not all our facilities are able to deliver the goods they produce. Please correct the situation. so far consumed wood. We'll be needing more of it to continue. I always appreciate your help, however overdue. Away from Edvard, we're on board. 
Only we've no shit to get on board off. If you pick me, you may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. Really, entirely marvelous to meet you. And that we may show truth, or, or anything, actually, in my... Uh, everybody on board? Good. I, I, I shiver at the thought of staying here another second. What? Has your cleft of the family no shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? The Queen's ambassador himself shall hear of this. Abduction is a severe accusation. And if I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. Pencil polishing, Poppinjay. I should have been rid of you long ago. I see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the Crown. And as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners. Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid, while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Now that sounds like good news. As to the debt, my hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. Maybe Edvard will try to prevent us owning a shipyard, but for now, let's at least house those workers. I need out with me lowly troubles. Busy, but I've a favor to ask. I wish I'd a goose for your kindness. Cream of the crop. You reached a new milestone. With several passionate young reporters enlisted, our publishing house is already well underway. Workers can handle stubborn debris on Ditchwater. If it's to be the center of our new enterprise, it needs to be immaculate. Our dream of a shipyard is impossible without plenty of qualified hands.
We need something first. I'm here if you ever need a steady, albeit somewhat arthritic, hand to guide you. I'm happy as a sand boy. Will you build us another castle? Will you work your magic for us? What we do so love to see. Cure! A promise kept. I have discovered some inefficiencies we ought to address. Our editorial section is sure to grow along with your city. We are fine-tuning the first issue as we speak. promises to be kept. Thank you. You have father's fortitude. These people will follow you as they once followed him.
Your worthless rags have barely covered anything. Now, bring me sails. It's not like you have any use for them. Clearly, Uncle's intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. Enough of us. shortage.
No fast! lack the requisite materials. When will you show your family some gratitude?
shortage. See how the whole world bows before us. has been vanquished. What kind of town don't have a warehouse? the manifests, not all our facilities are able to deliver the goods they produce. Please correct the situation. On every street corner in no time. I know you're busy, but I've a favour to ask.
stand to attention. Workforce shortage. Help us out, will you, boss? Will you work your magic for us? What we do so love to see. Not bad for a big boss. Another biscuit. We can't shut the storeroom door. Restore a grain of my trust in humanity, eldest.
Nice day for it. Where are my sails? Nothing you do will lift the cloud. Haven't seen a prison transport of mine, have you? If you do, be sure to return any salvage to me. No space left here. So then, save us from a grievous injustice. Edward's charges against us are pure fabrication. The man is an imposter. A letter. It bears Edward's seal. Don't even think about sheltering Samuel's co-conspirators. Deliver them to prison at once, and I might lift your debt. the letter. He's clearly up to no good. However much we despise Uncle Edvard, it's criminal to go opening his private correspondence. It cannot be. These names are those father trusted most. Barristers, doctors, academics. Even I am astonished he could be this corrupt. We must put their cases before the highest authority and hope for a retrial. He certainly knows how to silence his critics. What is it you are bringing? Did he really? Oh dear. Uh, best leave these poor people with me. I will tell Edvard that the debt between you is quite settled. That was none of your business. And what right has the Crown to meddle in my accounts? What right? We are, all of us, quite moved by your selfless actions. Your father would be proud. I am so relieved our legitimacy is no longer in question. I already smell the tar. See, the masts are swaying from Father's study.
Think of it as hard evidence of your character. You're getting off lightly. A competitor raised a settlement. I know where you live. So lovely to meet you, dearie. But a word of advice. Always watch your back. You can't escape duty. Believe me, we've all tried. It's as bad out there as it is inside. The Emporium Exotique looks forward to your patronage, if you can afford it. He's like wise old Wibbly, eh? Stick by me and you'll come good. Willy Wibblesock's great ability is to break even the most joyful silence. Straight and narrow. Soon be making a name for yourself. Our city's historic first shipyard. We must document this moment in our first edition. Snapshot to illustrate history in the making. So you 
build ships like your father. Well, the Queen is in the direst need of ships. Supporting her will go some way to healing the wounds of the past. A commission for the Royal Fleet? And in such quantity? A rare honour indeed. The weaponry they ask for presents a problem. I'm not even sure we have an iron load, do we? I see the iron is beyond our reach. We have no choice but to find a way through the mountain. Still have a few sticks of dynamite. We can blow our way through. Perhaps not refined enough for your sister, but at least your workers can start their dig. What are you both doing? Demolition is a serious matter wanting proper expertise. Father used Mr. Ticker on account of his good sense. Go on, I suggest you find him in Bright Sands. This be my Latin island? You are generous with your islands. Don't mind if I do. A competitor raised a settlement. protests, many fine men left Bright Sands to join you. Then Edvard struck back. He imprisoned all who were close to your father, including my beloved Thomas. My husband and the others were deported to Wormway's prison, and I've heard nothing from him ever since. If you do find him unharmed, prithee tell him his wife yearns for his return. We are nearing the place your father died. Whatever happens, stay calm. So there you are, the traitor's children. How dare you! Thou oh, spare me the nauseating drivel. Flogging Queenie's peachy island in the new world to some rebel upstarts? <laughs> Traitor is too generous a word. Father would never have. He was the Queen's stalwart, a member of the Royal Council. He... He hung himself in one of my cells. I'd call that a rather conclusive admission of guilt. We did not come here to be insulted. We came to strike a bargain. The demolition man, Thomas. We want him. Oh, I vaguely remember him. Stubborn, with a loose mouth, just as innocent as all the others. He is small fry. A bail has been set. Pay every penny of his money, and I will place him immediately at your disposal. I can't think why he'd be worth anything. Everyone here is beyond redemption. Forget the escape. And to what? Edvard's new vision for bright sands. 
I'm not gonna tell you your father wasn't a traitor. Samuel Goods Engineer? Aye, that's me. Who's asking? That's the least I'm due for my suffering. He is ready for transportation. Keep an eye to the horizon for miscreants. You've only gone and done it. 